Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a fantastic day and if not, that's perfect. We are here to create perfect days and beautiful days and happiness. So let's get started. Behind me I've got bunches and bushes and bunches and bushes of lavenders and today I want to share with you how I make my lavender oil and I've already picked a big bunch. Some of them are in flower and I must tell you I made every single plant from a cutting. They are easy to grow, they are hardy, they are amazing, they are so good for almost everything. If you want to invest in a plant that takes hardly any care, lavender. Do it with lavender. So let's step into the kitchen. I've already started and you can have a look at this wonderful process. I found it on um, YouTube and tried it and I've been doing this for more than a year now and I can really say it's fabulous. You use it for baking breads, making salads, insect bites, um, skin. If you, if you are a person who does things for do-it-yourself skincare products, this is a, an amazing oil when you don't have coconut. Or whether you have coconut oil or olive oil, you can just use your own lavenders from your own garden and lavish yourselves in lavender. So let's really step into the kitchen now. So I take these lavenders and break them. Then I pour oil over it. This is... Um, Sunflower oil, rich in vitamin E, fabulous oil. I pour it over and cover the lavenders with the oil. Then I place it on a very low heat for 20 minutes and just as it makes tiny bubbles, I switch it off. I let it stand until the next day. And today is the next day. So now I'm going to repeat the process. I do this twice and tomorrow I will drain it, squash it out. You are most welcome to put your um, lavenders through a food processor and chop it. Um, for me, I've tried that. This is just fine. And I squash it out to get all the goodness from the lavender. I pour it into another big pot. And I have wonderful lavender oil for every possible thing. From marinating fish and meat to creaming your body, insect bites and much, much more. It's fabulous for your skin. It's fabulous for sunburn. It's fabulous in your bath. It's awesome as part of a body scrub. You can use it for whatever you want. Just the way you would use every other oil. The only difference, these are coming from my garden and I love it. I love pampering myself and this wonderful orga organic oil. Um, I hope you love it. Give it a try. So let me get this fire going and show you how. Okay, so now it's 20 minutes. The oil is starting to bubble very, very gently. And you want to keep it at this heat. And you are ready to switch it off and let it stand till tomorrow and then pour out your delicious oil into a container. And I will see you tomorrow. 
Hello and welcome back. It is time to take the lavender oil out of the pot and pour it back into the original bottle. So this is a bit of a messy job. I'm doing it outside on a piece of plastic where I'm always painting. And um, so let me bring you in closer so you can have a close look at this lovely, delicious, nutritious mess. So there you go, I made this oil from pure sunflower oil, you can choose any oil you want, coconut, avocado, but I love it with sunflower oil, it's light and you get the taste of the lavender and the flavours of lavender, where I personally find olive oil a bit too strong to really enhance the taste of lavender. So I wish you a fabulous day. Enjoy this fantastic oil in as many ways as you can imagine, your food, your hair, your skin, your bath. Enjoy, 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 and thank you for being here. Be blessed.